click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this video we are going to see the application of microcontroller we all know that we have lot of application we use microcontroller in real time world for example washing machine air conditioner digital camera these are nothing but the devices which work on microcontroller based program so basically the task which is to be performed the task is written in a form of a program the chip of a microcontroller is programmed in such a way that that particular task can be performed by that particular device so this is how we microcontroller use in our day to day life embedded system compact system that is the mobile phone we use so which is based on a microcontroller based system so in this video we are going to see one of the application with block diagram in this video we are going to see the temperature measurement by using microcontroller this is the example we have discussed lot of times by taking the example of a temperature measurement so here we are actually going to see which are the different blocks which are responsible to perform an application for a temperature measurement and monitoring so this is the block diagram shown to measure the temperature of a particular room and to monitor that particular temperature so to measure the temperature first we need to have a temperature sensor lm35 is most widely used sensor to sense the temperature of a particular environment or the room so basically the output of lm35 is directly proportional with the centigrade value of a temperature so whenever the temperature has to be measured from the particular room the temperature sensor lm35 has to be placed for the position for that particular room which will continuously measure the temperature and that physical quantity can be sent to the microcontroller as we have discussed the interfacing is required to change the analog data into digital form so adc within a microcontroller can be used to convert the data from analog form to digital form or the external adc can be connected to convert the data so if the internal adc is not connected then you can go for the external adc so that whatever is the value measured by the sensor that can be converted into digital form and that can be given to the microcontroller now here microcontroller is connected with the ee prom relay driver 16 into 2 lcd display where the actual value can be display that means after processing the data basically the processing of the sense temperature can be done within a microcontroller and then output can be generated that output can be shown and led display here are the switches so that microcontroller can be switched on and off according to the application requirement so this switches can be used to off the microcontroller and on the microcontroller ee prom is a erasable rom memory that means program can be return to the microcontroller it can be erase it can be update it can be change according to the change in a application so this external memory is connected to the microcontroller so that basically rom is used as a program memory we have to write a program to instruct microcontroller to perform specific task this program may change later according to the change in a application so the ee prom is used so that this program memory can be erasable that means you can erase the program you can change the program according to the application then the relays driver fan bulb or heater is connected for which you have to control the temperature the temperature of the air conditioner has to be controlled or i mean the temperature of the room can be controlled by either increasing or decreasing the temperature of a air conditioner or increasing the decreasing the speed of the fan this is how you will control the temperature of that room so that particular device is also interface with a microcontroller and here you have a 16 into 2 lcd display so basic working of this whole diagram will be first the sensor will sense the parameter that will be converted in a digital form that will be given in the microcontroller now after receiving the data from the sensor microcontroller will work on the program written that for the received value what can be performed for example if this particular block should be maintained at 25 degrees celsius of temperature and if the received value is 
30 degree Celsius, then microcontroller should act in such a way that the temperature should reduce to 25 degree. That means the fan should be on or if the AC is there, then AC temperature should be reduced. So that is nothing but actions to be performed to bring the temperature to predefined value. If the temperature value receives is 20 degree Celsius, then you have to switch off the AC to maintain the temperature of the room at 25 degree Celsius. So basically, according to the data received at the microcontroller, the program has to be executed to either increase or decrease the temperature. And after that, the value will be displayed on the LCD display. That what is the exact value of a temperature or any other parameter which you want to be displayed. The data can be displayed over here and according to the program, the device which is connected, which is interfaced with the microcontroller that can be controlled. That means fan can be switched on or off, AC can be switched on and off, heater can be controlled. So this is how we can control the mechanism by using microcontroller. So this is the simple example of a temperature control or you can say maintaining of the temperature of particular uh, place that can be maintaining maintaining the temperature of the particular place by using microcontroller. I hope you have understood the temperature measurement by using microcontroller. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.